President Chartrand, thanks for joining us. Uh, do you feel Métis specific issues are being talked about in this campaign? Well, you look at the uh, uh, statements and policies uh, and, and, and sort of agendas that are being displayed on what the priorities are, uh, definitely there is no real solid mention of the Métis Nation anywhere. Uh, we're getting some of that from Wab Canoe and uh, some from Le Mans, but clearly there's nothing from the Palestra government at all. There's zero on, on the Métis. In fact, uh, uh, of course, he has, doesn't have much to speak of in the first place because he cut, he cut nearly everything with the Federation. And there's this, of course, court case that's going on September 11, the day after the election, regarding the 67 million that he cut from the Manitoba Hydro Agreement we had with uh, the board and with the president of Hydro. So uh, from that context, there is obviously no, no promises or commitments at all being made to 120,000 Métis from the Palestra government at this point in time. Obviously, uh, September 11th going to be a, a big day there, but what would you like to see discussed ahead of the vote on September 10th? Well, let's look, let's look at it from this context. Métis pay probably about $400 million in taxes in this province, and the economy of scales are very important. If Métis people aren't working hard, they're going to be paying the proper taxes and helping the Manitoba economy and helping our, our, our province uh, continue to be a very strong province in Canada. And, and, and clearly, from the context of where the government's going, there is no economic strategy from, from them. I'd love to see in here a Métis specific economic strategy where investments are going to be uh, put into the communities, where jobs will be created, uh, where we look at the health conditions right now is costing all of us as taxpayers, including Métis taxpayer, uh, millions upon millions of dollars because of a lack of strategy, lack of investment. Métis are in a worse health care than anyone else in this province, and yet there's no focus. In fact, our funding got cut from the uh, Palestine government on that issue. So you look at education, again, we find our children, and studies have been showing that, our children are in worse health care. In fact, preschool showing that we are failing miserably to the Métis children in this country, and in this province particularly. So, so there's a lot of gaps that are occurring, and I think the, the, what Manitobas need to understand, this is not a Métis issue, it's a Manitoba issue, because at the end of the day, if, it, if the Métis will, will fail and will hurt, will find themselves in a very difficult position, all Manitobans will have to pay that price, including us as taxpayers. So, so if by not investing and not planning properly, uh, it's going to cost all of us a lot, and, and that shouldn't be where it is. There should be a direct plan. Just because Palestra has a direct uh, animosity to me as a leader, doesn't mean he punishes and, and, and disapproves anything that the Métis people potentially should be receiving. If not, don't take our taxes. Let us, let us have our taxes back and we'll, we'll run our own issues and run our own affairs. As you mentioned, you know, roughly 120,000 Métis living in Manitoba, and you've always argued, whether it's provincially or, or federally, that it's a vote that cannot be ignored. Uh, is the MMF endorsing any of the parties or party leaders? Well, what we'll endorse is the uh, party platforms. And uh, we're, we actually we have a, a specific uh, uh, person that's managing that file. Her name is April Ori. Uh, she actually leads the uh, le electoral uh, process for us in Manitoba. We're educating our citizens. We have emails by the thousands going out every, every week. Uh, we have Métis, really young people, uh, really proactive in this election. They're already making T-shirts, Métis, Métis Youth Vote. Uh, there are meetings happening with the youth across the province of Manitoba. The Métis cabinet is, is added on this agenda. Uh, so we're putting out flyers now, we're putting out ads, and we'll keep on pushing a lot. And we, we will be driving our people to the polls. We already vote in large numbers, but we're going to make mm -hmm. sure we vote in greater numbers. And what we want to do is the letters that have been sent out to the parties, we're waiting for them to answer. What's in interesting is that all the promises that Palliser made in 2016, all of them, he did not, to the Métis people, to the Métis nation, he did not meet one of them. And, and that's, a, that's a proof in fact. And, and uh, so does, we have the written commitments made by Pallister when he was in opposition, and he did not meet one of them. So we're sending out questionnaires to the leaders, to the parties, saying, okay, tell us what, where the Métis fit in your agenda. And we're gonna share that with all of our citizens and making it very clear, here's the choices you have. Here's what each party is saying. Here's what our, each party is promising to deliver with your hard earned taxes. Now, which one do you wanna vote for? You make that choice. President Chartrand, we'll have to leave it there, but appreciate you taking some time for us here today. Thank you very much, Dennis.